well, the reason I decided to run, and this was, well, something that I thought of for a long time after I saw some of the situations within our community that I think need to be addressed. I'm a lifelong resident of O'Fallon, uh, have had a lot of experience in business management, in economic development with the firms that I've worked with. And I also understand the inner workings of our city, having served for six years now as an alderman. There are many, many good things about O'Fallon that have helped O'Fallon grow over the years. One is our school system, some great housing, our close proximity to uh, St. Louis, having an employer with 13,000 at Scott Air Force Base, and having I-64 coming right through our community. It makes us a very attractive community for a lot of people, and it has for many years, as we've had some good growth over the years. There, that growth I want to see continue, but I want to see it continue in a manner that it does not cause a burden on our infrastructure. By that I'm talking about our water, our sewer, our police and our fire department by causing extra costs, which are then going to be have to be cost on, uh, passed on as well to our residents. There's many ways that we can go about doing the development without having to add additional cost. Uh, unfortunately, we've got about five to 600 acres under TIF. TIF properties cap the property taxes for our schools and others, which throws a bigger burden then onto our residents. Some of the other things that I would like to see, I'd like to see more communications with our community, with the public. I, would, I have a number of things that I would like to see us do. That's one of the reasons I walk around to 1,200 homes every year in my ward. Plus, I'm currently just finished walking to about 4,800 home. I've got about another 1,100 to walk to throughout the entire city. The other thing is financially, I wanna see our community grow, but grow in a fiscally responsible manner. We have increased our debt by over 500% in the last 19 years. And we have just increased our taxes twice in the last two years by 3.3%, and now we're gonna be asked to vote on a 4.9%. We cannot continue to increase the taxes to our citizens. We have to find ways of operating our, our city in a fiscally responsible manner and doing so with the funds that we receive. And we do receive a lot of funds from many other resources in addition to our real estate taxes. And I think this can be done if we use some good business practices. And I think I have the expertise and the knowledge both in the economic development and in the business sector to help our community grow and prosper in a fiscally responsible manner.